Leaders at TVA manage 49 dams across the region, and we saw several tested by historically high water. And now a new test, clearing trees, splintered homes, and other storm damage from blocking the flow of water at those dams. There's some video right there from TVA in today. Reporter Avery Gingrich joining us now to explain this other challenge after the storm. Avery. John, TVA staff say they've been working 12 plus hour days since Helene hit. They told me their response to Helene has worked, but this situation requires constant vigilance. TVA deployed a 4,000 foot long boom near Dandridge along the Douglas Lake today. The boom is just one project to help repair and rebuild after Hurricane Helene. On Sunday, TVA staff started controlled water releases at the Douglas and Watauga, and Watauga dams, excuse me. They say the controlled releases are necessary, though they have caused some flooding in Elizabethan and parts of Sevier County. But staff say progress is being made. We've been able to reduce Watauga to the point where Elizabethan is below flood stage. Likewise, Douglas uh, releases have, have been reduced to where we're more or less in the channel capacity. TVA says the Douglas Dam released 450,000 gallons of water per second on Sunday. That's a record. TVA staff say the water releases and boom deployment are parts of their response, but they aren't steps in a predetermined path. They say what comes next depends on the data. John. Avery Gingrich with a window into that work. Thank you, Avery. We appreciate it. And let's